What do you want to see specifically regarding this government overreach? Big government and all of this free stuff has become commonplace uh, in, in, in corners of, uh, of uh, politics, in, in particular from Bernie Sanders. Yeah. Um, tell me what you'd like to see from these candidates as, they, as it relates to government overreach. Well, I think they've got to put back into focus what the framers of our Constitution believe. And they had a lot of wisdom. And it worked for many, many years. And suddenly now, uh, we're discarding uh, everything that they believe in and going to a whole new a, a, a government position. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, this country has been very successful um, up until now. And now what we have is a more centralization in the executive branch. And it's changed, the, it's changed our country. This and it's a- very dangerous. We're living in a very dangerous world. And we got to have that balance. Because we don't have it. It's a slippery slope. Yes. Hank, uh, once you go down this road, this is a really important right. case for you, David, yes. because this is much bigger than just AIG absolutely. and the shareholders absolutely. that Hank Greenberg is the face of right yes. now. Uh, that's absolutely right. This really is not about AIG. It's not even about bailouts. It's about whether the executive branch can itself decide what powers it's going to have, or whether its powers are powers of a limited government. It only has the powers, first, that the Constitution gives it, and second, that Congress decides to give it. Our Constitution says Congress makes the laws, the executive branch carries them out. Here, Congress made the law, but the executive branch took upon itself the idea, we're going to, for the first time in history, we're going to confiscate a company's equity. They had no right to do that. They had no power to do that. And the federal judge at the trial ruled that they had no power to do that. And because we were at a moment in time where the economy was vulnerable yes. and, and, and the, the masses, the public, saw their home values yeah. declining and their stock market right. they thought, well, yeah, they're the bad guys exactly. and government should get bigger. And, yeah. and remember, they set out to make AIG the bad guy. Um, I mean, I, I can't say too often that when you set out, when government sets out to make one of its own citizens, one of its own companies, a political scapegoat. There's something wrong with that. Very troubling. When, when it's very, very, very troubling because we give government enormous power. Uh, now, I happen to be one of the people that believe that government is part of the solution. We need government. But just because we need government doesn't mean that the executive branch gets to determine what its power is. That's for Congress. That's for the democratically elected representatives of the people to decide. Let me switch gears for a second before you go, Hank, because I want to ask you about your support for Jeb Bush and really about the broad economy. You travel all over the world. We're trying to figure out really what's going to move the needle on job creation, uh, tax reform. You think Jeb Bush has the right ideas? I think he does. I think that Jeb Bush will do a good job. He's um, he's balanced. He's not going to go off half cocked. Um, He understands this country. He understands what makes it go. Why is he not resonating, Hank? I mean, you see well, Donald Trump in the lead. Yeah. You see Jeb Bush's numbers going down. And he's basically sort of, play, I mean, Donald Trump is setting him up every day and he's falling into it. I talked to him about that. Yeah. Very candidly, that he's got to really take him on. He's, when, when he's, he's always a, on defense. Yeah, when, when he's attacked that way, he's got to come out of the woodwork. And I believe he will. Yeah, but I mean, to go there and use a whole interview to talk about Donald Trump rather than talking about what he's going to do is indicative of of where Jeb Bush's head is at. I mean, so does he understand that? Yes, I think he does now. I I believe that uh, I believe that you'll see a different Jeb Bush in the next debate. And if he doesn't then it's going to be his fault. Well, we've got a debate here on the Fox Business Network, November 10th, so I will be speaking with him, and I'm looking forward to that. Real quick on the regulatory environment, David, because the regulations from Obamacare to Dodd-Frank to the EPA, uh, based on my conversations with managers of businesses, are basically stifling the economy right now. I think there's a lot of over-regulation. I think think there are a lot of regulations that are important to have. Um, I think if we'd had better regulation uh, before the financial crisis, we could have regulated the financial crisis. I think if you hadn't had artificially low interest rates uh, that the government uh, developed uh, prior to the financial crisis, you wouldn't have had at least a severe financial crisis we had. So I think, I think there's a lot of improvement that can be made. Uh, the, the key part is that people talk about regulation or, or anti-regulation. That's not the right Right, question. it's not. It's, it's not either the or right one. regulation. We have too many regulations, and we have too many wrong regulations. And, and part of the issue with the global economy has been China. Is it as weak as everybody paints it to be? Look, I think You're China's there all gonna, the time. I think China's, China's going to be fine. 
they're going through some changes. But you know, look, look what they've accomplished in such a brief period of time. I mean, it, it's, here they are, the second largest economy in the world. When they get more consumer uh, part of the economy, which they're working on, it's, it's going to grow like a weed. I have, I have confidence that China's going to be fine. Do you believe that it's 6.9% growth? People are questioning the numbers. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but uh, who knows? Yeah. Hey, Hank Greenberg, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. David Boyes, really Thank great you. conversation. We appreciate both good of you, you joining us. We'll be watching the developments. Hank Greenberg, David Boyes. We'll be right back.